It has become increasingly fashionable in our modern high pace positive psychology, chest thumping, Tony Robbins seminar, you know, this high, this loud music, this jumping up and down, concerted, synchronized uh, uh, culture to, to, to purport and trumpet about um, this victim card, card mentality. What I mean is that everyone is, it has almost become fashionable to say, oh, don't play, be a, don't play the victim. You're not the victim. You're the, ma you're the master of your own fate. You're the pilot of your own ship and all kind of bullshit. So what, I try to, what I'm trying to do is, what I'm, what I'm going to do is approach this in a totally, from a totally different angle, from a Taoist angle, if you will. Because the Taoist questions everything. They flips everything upside down. And it's not even a Taoist thing. If you want to take the red pill, you got to question everything. I, I got a tremendous backlash for my, uh, not tremendous, got a certain backlash for my flat earth, in defense of flat earth uh, video or audio. And you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go ahead and march soldier on. Because ultimately, you have to question everything, every axiom. There are every axiom, every opinion, every, every facts, every statements under the, under the face of the earth, on the face and, and question them, put them on pedestal. So one such um, in a belief, rather, has become fashionable is this, oh, you're not a victim, don't play a victim, take responsibility. I'd like to question why. What gives you the authority, the arrogance, author arrogance, what, what, gives, what, what gives you the arrogance, entitlement, rather, to think, just because life was kind to you, it has been kind to everyone. And these people tend to be tend to have a certain uh, they fit certain paradigm. They tend to have tattoos. They become ultra marathoners. They you know high exercise, and they also tend to be they also tend to be dits. They they're not the, those because obviously they're the, they're the alpha males rather physically, because they have they they were genetically blessed. They grew up in fucking Newport Beach or Irvine. And I'm being cynical and bitter deliberately on purpose. Life was fair to them. If you're born in a dumpster, an orphan, in a, in a fucking one of the poorest of the country, crippled, fucking, and yes, people make it. But if life, what gives you the authority, what gives you the arrogance to think that God, God in, his, in his infinite kindness would not, did not, could, uh, could not have um, stacked the dice, loaded the dice against you? And comp on all could have concocted a series of in, uh, incidents, unfortunate incidents, series of lemony snickers, unfortunate incidents, completely against you, so as to make you break down. There's no matter what, you wouldn't win, and you die, and the day you'd ultimately have a tragic death, as so do those incel uh, mass shooters do, because they break down because life was unfair and cruel to them, unkind to them, and that's the brilliance of this Joker film, which completely takes this hero and anti-hero this and the flips it on his head and makes an incel incel dome the hero and again you know what i personally suffer from um, had a you know suffer from psychiatric illness and mental illness and i despise this victim mentality i do i i'm all for empowerment i i i'm mean, no matter what if you have addiction problem mental illness i'm all for that trust me been there done that four o'clock a.m in the morning affirmations meditations uh, positive, empowering posture, uh, affirmations, I like myself, love myself 20 times, cold shower, go and run, come back, meditate, eat the frog, Brian Tracy, eat the frog, stoic, Marcus Ulis, I have done all those shit. But you can only do that for so long. If you're born completely disabled, catatonic, where your brain doesn't function, you have some autoimmune disease or something, no matter what, you cannot... There are certain limitations you have to accept. I mean, you can't just say, oh, don't play victim, walk on water. Fuck you. You're a moron. You're an idiot. If you, and that's what these people, this ultra marathon or tattooed, you know, this alpha male guy with zero person body, fit, that's what they tend to be. They tend to be dits because they lack the perspic perspicuity, the insight to probe deeply and question everything. They don't have the ball. They're trying to be all this, you know, chest thumping, this... This alpha guy, you know, Joko Willink cult who who like who think there's so much badasses, but they don't have the balls to question the authority, to question their to go to dig to dig deep within themselves and question their innermost, utmost beliefs. 
you know what people say oh don't be a victim because we are ultimately we are making the we are uh, uh, making our own reality we are manifesting everything dumb you fucking motherfucking moron don't you think if I knew that I wouldn't be in this in this pickle in the first place you fucking idiot you fucking meathead you fucking blockhead you fucking moose midge for moose what was it the midge or moose or midge from fucking archies that's the problem with these idiots who think just because certain certain truths apply to them they think it applies for everyone no you fucking idiot don't you think even knew that if i was atman brahman god dao and i can i i am the master of my own fate i create more reality then i wouldn't be in this i wouldn't be fucking questioning it in the first place you fucking idiot don't you get that you're making the tail wag the dog people are so idiot trust me man they, people lack common sense i mean they don't have the balls to question the to question like they take everything for granted and they 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 talk about like you know courage and stupid foolhardy bravado but they're actually pussies because they 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 do afraid to dig dig uh, dig deep inside them and question everything because ultimately if you want to awaken you got to question everything and you got to have certain balls to question everything which you take for fact be it flat earth or a circular earth or heliocentric model everything you have to question everything because how do you know everything is not a maya an illusion god is gaslighting you god is deliberately yeah you are god we are all god pretend to be someone we are not we are wearing million we are the million we are in disguises million masks of god we are manifestations of god's energy we are energy we are all the universe in intelligence but you fucking idiot don't you think if i knew that then i wouldn't be embark on a fake spiritual journey in the first place then everything would have been hunky dory pollyanna the rainbows and chance and you fucking idiot so i would say yeah do play the victim card because what's going to happen is you're going to find this enough is enough i can't take this shit anymore and then you're going to wake up you have to play the victim card you have to question and say why god why is this happening to me why are all the cards stacked up against because how do you know the the universal intelligence the energy did not deliberately purposefully stack the deck against you how do you know that you're just you're just a puny little intelligence in this this big cosmic timeline this kalpa this from big bang to big crunch you're just a tiny dot so what gives you the fucking arrogance or authority to say oh don't play the victim card it's just fucking stupid dude you're trying to use brawn to to fucking to uh, to you're using brawn to uh, not a lever to fucking uh, lift the earth the archimedean earth archimedes earth that's what you're doing you think brawn will solve this positive psychology bravado brawn uh, b- b- uh, smile no matter how hard you're getting kicked in the crotch man tell you it's going to solve everything you're going to suddenly fly and walk on water and conquer everything that's not the case man just because life was blessed and kind and great to you you think by being gratitude giving gratitude being positive cycle everything will lie you'll get it no there do you know that trillions and millions and millions and millions of people out there who doesn't do don't make it who die who dies like ants uh, ants they get squashed like like a like people like a ant like a bug and they don't know how to make it so do you actually do you do you actually the tie lope is does that do you actually think that these people their life don't matter you fucking asshole you fucking motherfucking you bullshit spitting you fucking idiotic fucking buffoon you actually think their lives don't matter who the fuck are you to say their lives don't matter just because you don't have a lamborghini in your house your life suddenly don't matter you fucking idiot or you don't wake up so who cares if you ultimately do i'll see i'll trap you by your own own beliefs i'll hold you accountable for, by your own system so if you think we are ultimately the one who's creating reality maybe maybe it's my choice to create the real the shitty reality i want who the fuck are you to question it then you fucking idiot people are so dumb seriously man people so oh, boo hoo hoo don't cry don't be a whiny don't be entitled don't be the victim mentality don't have... but you're the one who has the victim mentality you're the one who's entitled to think that other people shouldn't be entitled you are the one who's playing this victim card of this whiny asshole to say other people don't shouldn't be a whiny fucking asshole you're a victim you idiot you push it so far but you're afraid to go to the to push it one step further that's how dumb and a fucking pussy you are
No shit, yeah. If I knew that I'm the one who's creating my own reality, don't you think I would have that fucking scintilla of intelligence and evidence to actually fucking figure that shit out and actually fucking fix my whole life? Fucking idiot. So I would say, go ahead, play the victim card. Play, feign weakness, be weak, be, be, uh, cry, be, be a whiny crybaby, lament, throw a hissy fit, throw this drum and dung, because what's going to happen is ultimately you're going to empty everything from your, empty all the emotions you have, and find, and I'll, and obviously with a disclaimer caveat that do it safely, don't jeopardize yourself or anyone else's life in danger, but it's ultimately that's what happens. You know, sometimes you give a, you become angry and you explode and then suddenly you calm down because your mind becomes calm as a Zen because you let everything out. Basically, it's a catharsis. So, yeah, I mean, just play the victim card because who the fuck am I to tell you what what your life was or should or should not be who the fuck am you're the one who lived your life i didn't you lived your own life similarly how how can you tell me what how can you how can you possibly teach anything about life when i'm the one who treaded it you're the one who did you, you didn't experience my life as eminem said and i'll end it on that that note don't ever judge me dude you don't don't fucking ever judge me, dude. You don't know what I've been through. Is that, that doesn't even rhyme, but you know what I mean. I don't know. It's two. You know, it's twelve fifty-one a.m. I'm tired. What did he say, anyways? Don't ever judge me, dude. You don't know what I've been through. Is that what he said? But that doesn't rhyme, though. I don't know. But he made it rhyme. Well, that's his genius. All right, man. Thanks.